back, everyone. Queen Angela here. And I don't know about you, but I have had a great time going over all of these amazing Bible stories. In fact, the Bible is full of stories that can even help us today. Incredible. Well, let's keep learning more about our big picture question. Why does sin separate us from God? Hey Mariners Kids, Jordan here and welcome back to another episode of Finders Keeper. So far our contestants have not had the best of luck beating the clock. Let's see if today's contestants can do any better. Let's meet our family. All right, we got a daughter and mom here. Daughter, what's your name? Sophia. Sophia and mom? Milagro. Sophia, okay, so Sophia, I would love for you to tell the people at home what is one fun thing about yourself. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol? What about Paw Patrol? I like it. She loves Paw Patrol. Can I get a clap at home for everyone else that loves Paw Patrol? All right, you guys ready for the riddle? Yeah. Are you, are you sure you're ready? Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. If you're sitting on me, then paper you will need. I'm always getting flushed when you have pooped or peed. I'll read it one more time. If you're sitting on me, then paper you will need. I'm always getting flushed when you have pooped or peed. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's see, where are they gonna start? Sophia, you hear? Nope, that's not it. They're searching, dumping out all the, oh, there, wow. If we were playing hot and cold, they would be smoking. They're so, it's, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. It's, oh, they're so close. It's like they're dancing on it right now almost. They're like basically dancing on it. They're so close. Again, you flush it. You flush it. What do you flush? What do you flush? Oh, is it a real toilet or maybe a small toilet? Maybe it's a small one. They're onto something. You do flush a toilet. Let's get our timer, judges. 20 seconds left. Wow, they're so close. It's like right there. Oh my gosh, they're so close. 10, nine, it's on the ground, look on the ground now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, mom. Sophia, come on over, come on over. Okay, so let's talk about this real quick. If you're sitting on me, then paper you will need. I'm always getting flushed when you have pooped or peed. What's the answer? A toilet, you're right, they got the answer right. Let me show you where it is. Let's go find our toilet. Well, if I can find it, it was, it, it was here somewhere. You guys kinda knocked it around. It's a really tiny little keychain toilet. Do you guys see it? It's a little keychain toilet. Well, I saw it. I saw it. It's buried under all of this mess. But you guys are not leaving home empty-handed. Uh, we'll we'll find the we'll find the toilet keychain eventually, but you guys are not leaving home empty-handed. We got another used can of silly string for you guys to go home with. You are going home with a used can of silly string. Thank you for playing. We'll see you next week on Finders Keepers.
King Saul gathered an army and took some of the men into the hill country. The rest of the army went with Saul's son, Jonathan, to the city of Gibeah. Israel's enemies, the Philistines, were in the land. The Philistines came out to fight the Israelites. They had more chariots, more horses, and more soldiers. The Israelites were outnumbered. They were all afraid. Some of them hid. Saul wanted to ask God for help. Maybe if he made an offering to God, they would win the battle. There was one problem. Only the priests, like Samuel, were allowed to give offerings to God. Saul waited, but Samuel did not come. Saul's soldiers started to leave, so Saul decided to make an offering to God himself. Then Samuel showed up. Saul, what are you doing? Samuel asked. You hadn't come, and the men were leaving me. I wanted to ask for God's help before we went into battle against the Philistines, Saul replied. You have disobeyed God, Samuel said. Saul was king, not a priest. It was a sin for Saul to make the sacrifice. You will not be king much longer. God is going to find someone obedient to be king. Sometime later, Samuel came to Saul with a message from God. God wanted Saul to attack the Amalekites. God wanted Saul to destroy everything, but after Saul defeated the Amalekites, he only destroyed things that weren't valuable. God told Samuel, I regret that I made Saul king because he does not obey me. Samuel confronted Saul and told him what God had said. I did obey him, Saul argued. I only saved the best animals to sacrifice to the Lord. Samuel asked, does God care more about obedience or sacrifices. You rejected his instruction, so God has rejected you as king. Saul admitted his sin and pleaded for forgiveness. Samuel said, God has taken away your kingship today, and he is giving it to another king. 
God gave the Israelites a king, but Saul did not obey God. God had a plan to send his son, Jesus. King Jesus trusted and obeyed God perfectly and died so sinners could be forgiven and accepted. Have you ever baked cookies? I love me some good cookies. The smell, the taste, the ooey gooey inside. Oh my goodness. Well, right here, I have the best recipe for the best cookies ever. It tells you exactly which ingredients you need, how much of each ingredient, how to mix the ingredients, and at what temperature and how long the cookies need to bake. These are clear instructions. Now, what if I said, I'm just gonna mix it all on my own, I'll figure it out later, I just don't have time to actually read the instructions and follow them. How do you think those cookies would taste? Well, let's see. Here I have the cookies where the recipe was followed. <sighs> Yummy, those look so good. And here I have the cookies when I didn't follow the instructions. Um, well, they kind of look moldy and it doesn't smell so good and doesn't really look like a cookie. Maybe I should just eat these. Or do you think I should taste both and see what happens? Yeah! Okay. Here we go. We'll start here. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. Okay. You know, it's, how do I pick it up? I, well, here we go. Oh, mmm, mmm. Oh, mmm, mmm. Doesn't taste very good. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, now here's the point, boys and girls. The Bible is kind of like this recipe book. It gives us clear instructions, clear tools. It says in here, the Word of God is a lamp to our feet. This means that it is a clear guide for us. We can know what is right and what is wrong because God's Word, the Bible, clearly tells us. Sometimes we may try to do things on our own or take a shortcut like Saul did in the story. He knew what he was doing was wrong. He even tried to justify it, but it was wrong and it was sin. It's kind of like the second cookie. When we try to do things our own way, it is not God's best way. Why does sin separate us from God? Because God is holy, meaning He is without sin. Do you want to know the best news ever though? God sent Jesus. He is the King. He is the perfect King. Saul, the King the people demanded, was not perfect. But Jesus came as the perfect King. And He came to rescue us from our sins. And when we believe and receive Him, we are no longer separated from God. And that is the best news ever.
was true, right? We could actually give him our worries, all the things we're holding on to, when we're scared. We say, God, take these. You love me like crazy. So then we sing, God of glory, you're able, you are able, through your power to be faithful, to be faithful. God of just pretending to be the queen with some tea. <laughs> Pretty fun. Anyways, uh, moving on. What a great story it was today. I mean, we got to see how with God, the impossible is possible. The people were victorious because of God. That is amazing. All right, time for me to get back to my tea time. Ta-ta for now. Ooh. 